Hey, everybody. <laughs> what up? Your light. Man, I'm working on a commission. I'm kind of busy. Just look how many, look, look how many likes I got on on TikTok. Oh, you got three thousand? No, dude, I got nine thousand something. Isn't that insane? That's awesome. Okay, I'll let you go. I'm going to finish up this mission. Alright, All right, bye. Bye. Hi, Brad. Why am I Brad, huh? I don't know, I just felt like saying that. I'm live on YouTube. I think it's so. Are you eating a Jolly Rancher? No. <laughs> okay, so everybody, everybody on YouTube, Aaron loves Jolly Ranchers and I think he's kind of addicted to them. <laughs> <He's> not wrong. <laughs> he loved him some Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> yeah, but I love you more. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Thank you. Get lost, Carson. Get lost. There's no charger for you here. There's no charger for you here. So, since nobody's gonna ask me questions, I guess you gotta ask me questions. Oh shit, okay. Since nobody's coming to my live stream right now, ask me questions. Okay. Let me light up a cigarette first. Okay, go ahead. I I got one for me that I want to ask myself. And I'll ask you the same I'll ask you the same thing. 
if you could try any drug or do any drug and it wasn't illegal and it didn't kill you, which drug would you want to try? Like, which drug do you think you, you would like? I think for me, speed or ecstasy. Because speed keeps you up all night, and I would love to be able to stay up all night. But drugs are bad for you, and drugs can kill, ruin your life and kill you right away, and all that. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, I've never tried to have any drugs, so I, I think I'd like uppers instead of downers, so probably one reason why I don't like marijuana is because it, it relaxes you too much. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I quit smoking, but... It's not illegal. It's still illegal out here, so I think once they legalize it, maybe I'll try it every once in a while or whatever, but yeah. I just don't want to do illegal I stuff. Yeah, so, okay. another yeah, question is, have you ever had public, uh, 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 public intoxication? Uh, yeah, I have. I've never gotten in trouble for it, but I have been in public and, and drank, like at a pool. But I don't know if that really counts because a lot of people do that. So I don't know if that really counts. Yeah. I did a barbecue. I got drunk and I had the same time. It was really A lot of people do it at parks too. Like, a lot of people drink beer like at park, park um, events too. So I don't know. I don't know. They say it's illegal and shit, but people still do it. Like people, you know, at like picnic and stuff, people will have a beer or whatever, you know? At a family event and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I remember I went, I was with my uncle, and I remember I was drunk and out on the couch, and I swear to God, they want me to go to the store and focus. And I'm telling them, I cannot focus on anything right now. Yeah. That's the one thing you need not tell me to do. Mm -hmm. You don't get high. You yeah. not ask me focus. Yeah. My sister freaking made me go to the store and everything the first time I got high. Seriously? Yep. Oh, shit. She wanted to make it the worst experience I ever had. So that I wouldn't do it again. I'm like, yo, you cannot, you cannot tell me to focus right now. I can't. I yeah. Yeah. Thank you for the likes, you guys. Appreciate that. Okay. This is our way of podcasting or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> closest, closest way of podcasting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. But um, yeah, she made me, she made me tell my tell my parents that I smoked weed too. Wow. Yeah, she told my parents. She told my brother-in-law, she told my brother-in-law before I even knew that he knew it. And he's like, he he was joking around with me. He's like, man, you're stoned right now. You got Chinese eyes. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. He's like, what's so funny? Because I kept cracking up laughing at everything. And he's like, what's so funny? <laughs> That's how I am when I'm high, bro. I swear to God, I constantly laugh my ass yeah, off. But but I have negative stuff too with when I've gotten high too, so. Yeah. Like I thought I, thought I heard chains was going off on, outside my house one time when I got high, but I think my friend laced some of the weed that she smoked. I don't think it's just normal weed that I was smoking. I think it was fucking lace. Yeah. No, I didn't smoke, I got out, I got high on edibles. That's what fucked me up. Yeah. 
I bet. Latina J, she eats edibles and everything. She's a true ass stoner. <laughs> Edibles and everything. <laughs> I think she even does shrooms, if I if I remember correctly. I think she's done shrooms a couple times too. So she's a straight up stoner girl. <laughs> I recommend you see these shrooms. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Yeah, but I could be wrong. Maybe she didn't do them. I don't know. Shrooms sound like fun though. They sound like they'd be like a fun drug to try. Cause they like make you like see stuff and everything, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so talking about mental illness now when you have bad like mania do you ever like hallucinate do you ever like like it analyze shit for me i analyze shit like i'll be on you facebook and shit I'll think that like things that people are posting are like hidden messages to me and shit. Like I like totally like I like analyze them. I don't think they're like for me, but I like really analyze them, like the meaning of them and shit. I like get really into it, like really like analyze everything. Like people like write a post, like a poem or something, like a uh, like a uh, something that they found or whatever, and I'll like totally like read into it, and then I'll like read into like like show like like um videos and stuff like from like um like like music videos i'll like read into like the meaning of what the video is about and everything i like totally read into it <laughs> when i'm in mania <laughs> like really bad mania like off my pills and like it gets really bad and then i get like really religious and shit like extremely religious like praying to god all the time and shit <laughs> I've never been in Mania, but I have been in Modern Rage. Yeah. I mean, like, the shit when I'm in Mania, too. Like, I think that I'm, like, the most, like, awesome person in the world when I'm in Mania. Even more than I do right now. Like, I think that, like, I'm funny as fuck, and I'm doing, like, tons and tons of skits and shit, and, like, doing all kinds of crazy shit when I'm in Mania. You are eating a freaking Jolly Rancher. How how many days can you go without a Jolly Rancher, be honest? <laughs> That'd be funny if you had your own TV show. I'm addicted to Jolly Ranchers. <laughs> uh, I don't think Jolly Ranchers are really high in sugar, are they? Like extremely high. I I wouldn't know. Hey, what's up? Thank you for your love. Thank you. This guy's so nice that's in there right now. He always makes you feel so good. Like, he says I'm his favorite YouTuber and stuff. He's such a sweetheart. Thank you so much, sweetie. I appreciate you. He kind of reminds me of you, Aaron, because he's, like, extra sweet to me. <laughs> Aaron's like, nobody's as good as me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was gonna say something, but I'm not, but I'm not gonna say it right now. Just say it. You don't want me to say it you too. I'm telling you the truth. Okay. I want to be the best. I am the best. <laughs> you guys, comment below if you guys think Aaron's awesome as hell. If you guys like him in my videos. <clears throat> or who do, do I talk to that you guys think the most awesome? Thank you. Comment if you guys like me talking on the phone with my friends if it if it makes the video better. And who who you guys have liked me talking to on the phone the most if it's who who you like the most. <laughs> oh guess what, Aaron? Did I tell you that Anthony got into a car accident? He did. Last time I tried to get a hold of him, he was in the hospital. But I didn't get to see how, how I didn't get to see how bad the accident was, or anything. I didn't get to hear how bad the accident was, or anything. He just said he was really shook up by it. Call my dad real quick. Hey, Daddy. Yeah? I'm just letting you know something. Hopefully you don't get mad at me for it. I'm not going to tell Julie, but it's one that the boys gave me, like, a couple weeks ago. I have an extra lighter that I'm keeping in my purse, and I'm hiding it from Julie and everything because I don't have enough matches right now. And, um... Why don't you have enough matches? I don't. Oh, that's impossible. I gave you a ton of matches. I have like two more boxes of it. That's all I have. Why does it take so many matches to light your cigarettes? Because some of them, I I have to light a couple of them because they blow out. They're nice, they're nice matches. They're not cheap. I know, but some of them, the wind blows them out, and then I have to keep lighting them and lighting them. Whatever. Well, I didn't want to keep it from you because I don't keep anything from you. They really do, Dad, but I need more of them. They really do, Dad. The wind and everything blows them out. That's why I'm having to use more than one. I'm not going to. I put it in my purse, and I don't use it when Julie's home. All right, love you. Bye. Thank you. You're a sweetheart. Thank you. I'm happy that you love my YouTube videos. Thank you so much. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you.
Hey, Aaron. He's saying to me, Aaron, he's saying, I love you so much, and you are my favorite YouTuber. Favorite. You're such a sweetheart. Thank you. I'm glad that you love my YouTube channel. You're really sweet. See, there's sweet people just like you, Aaron. I watch my videos. I love hearing stuff like that from people. It makes me feel like I'm doing something good, you know what I mean? To hear that I'm your the favorite yeah. YouTuber and all that, that makes me feel amazing. It makes me feel famous in a way. Do you think I'm famous yet? Do you think I'm famous yet? Of course I do. I always do. <laughs> yeah, but you can't guess the shirt I'm wearing. My favorite dance music? Probably like play that funky music, White Boy, and she's a very kinky girl, the kind you don't keep home with the mother. <laughs> But I like I, I like booty shaking music though when it comes to dancing music, cause I booty shake really? when I dance. Like I like um, shake it like a salt shaker and you know all those different booty shaking songs. <laughs> That's my favorite dance music. But if you want like dance music like oh, oldies dance music, it'd be like like she's a very kink girl and all that and like super freak and all that. Super freak. Hey, I mean super okay? freak. And my song for my brother, but he claims that he doesn't remember that he dedicated to me. A song that my brother dedicated to me a long time ago was, She's a brick house. She's my tomate. Just letting it all hang out. She's a brick house. She's the one, the only one, built like an Amazon. Shake it down, shake it down now. Shake it down, shake it down now. <laughs> Ain't hold nothing back. <laughs> hey, what's oh up? Oh my god! I smell palm all red one hundreds or the shorts. That <laughs> mine. See. <laughs> What song reminds you of me, Aaron? Mm. My milkshake brings other boys to the yard and say luck is better than yours. Actually, it's three that actually remind me of you. <laughs> awesome. American spirits are expensive. <laughs> They're the most expensive cigarettes right now. I'd rather not spend like ten dollars on cigarettes. <laughs> well, what songs remind you of me? You make it easy by you know, Jason. You make it easy? Yeah. What else? <laughs> He's a the God, God gave me you. Um and... cube cube in here it said um thong song reminds him of me. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. And this one actually really made me think of you like for real. I'm in love with a I'm in love with a stripper damn. <laughs> What, am I a stripper to you or something? Nah, nah, it's just my head. <laughs> what, because I, 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 I can do strip teases or what? Like, 
<laughs> I've never gone. I've never done a strip piece for you though. <laughs> True. <laughs> Don't even say then again. There's a first time for everything. Four. <laughs> Like, come on, girl. <laughs> you go, if I was in my bedroom, you'd say in my bedroom, but you say right to the patio. <laughs> Right, you don't have Hey, what's up? So yeah, I spit up a lot of CPD. Yeah, I told you I have it. I've had it for years. When they tested my lungs a long time ago, at all, it's just you have breathing issues every once in a while. But it's really not painful to me. Maybe I don't have it as bad as some people, but it's, it's really not painful to me at all. The only painful thing that I go through is my fucking legs. Like my my left leg is the only painful thing. Yeah, yeah, I For real, my right leg's fine, but my left leg is just terrible. I think it's also because I plop down on the floor, which I need to stop doing that. But I think the reason why I'm I'm ruining my leg too is because I plop down on the floor. I need to stop doing that. I don't know how to how to sit down another way. I think that's why I'm ruining my leg too. It's because I keep doing that. And then I'm always crossing my legs too. I'm always crossing my legs too. Like Indian style. I try to. When they act up a lot, I stretch them out, but... I think that's, my family said a lot of my problems is circulation problems. Yeah. My brother said if I get e, e, an E vitamin and a B3, it actually helps to improve your vein function and all that. It improves your blood blood flow and everything, and it helps you with your, your varicose veins. Like, it doesn't heal them. It doesn't make the, the veins completely healed, but it helps them. So I need to find a way to get that, like either this month or next month, I need to get some of those vitamins and start taking those. So. Yeah, that would be good. It could help you out a lot. Uh-huh. I just recently um made a sale today. I got like $40, which I, so. Cause uh, I, I just glad that I could get that much money Originally, he was going to send 25, but he decided to send 40, so I was like, blessed from that. You know, I wrote him recently, I wrote him like before I took my nap, telling him how amazing he is and how awesome he is and everything, but he didn't write back anything, so I don't know. I guess he, I guess he got what he wanted for the time being and he's going to talk to me another time or something. You know, I have people that help me out. I have the same group of people help me out, though, not, not more than that, but... He's actually a new person, so that's good. I know, not everybody can help, though, you know, know. but I think more people can help that don't, you know, or whatever, you know what I mean? I, I want to. Yeah. 
you know, the same group of people help me out and nobody else more is, is helping, you know what I mean? Like, but I, I'm fine for right now. I mean, soon I'm going to need more, but, you know, I'm good for right now. So. so my friend, my friend's getting paid on Friday, so my friend's going to help me out on Friday, so. Usually every payday, my friends help me out, so. And I'm very blessed for that. Usually every paycheck they get, they all send me a little bit, so. And that's a donation. That's that's not really money for me. You know what I mean? But they, of course, they're gonna get stuff up from you that I want to give to them. You know what I mean? So. They're used to getting spoiled. So. Aaron, don't act like you don't get anything from me, so shut up. Aaron, don't you dare act like you don't get jack shit from me, so shut up. We don't need everybody to know everything, but yeah, don't act like you don't get anything from me. You get to talk to me every night, so shut up. <laughs> I talk to you every night before I go to bed usually, don't I? <laughs> Until I find a boyfriend. <laughs> You're not gonna call me a bitch. <laughs> You're not gonna call me a bitch for saying that until I find a boyfriend to say goodnight to. <laughs> a real, real life one. <laughs> okay, now you are a bitch. <laughs> you know I love being a bitch to you. <laughs> Cause sometimes when I'm a <laughs> What's up, how are you doing? There's nobody in here right now. Alright, love you guys. Thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.